out. Johnny, yeah. let's go. Oh, oh my you? gosh. Yo, I'm blessed, man. Yo, bro, I seen you last night. Um, at the Q and A, dog, it was crazy. I was the one that had a chain on, son. Yeah, yeah, man. I remember you. What's going on, man? So, yo, we gonna jump right into it because I know they only give me like five minutes. You know what I'm saying? So we gonna jump right into it, man. So first of all, like I told you uh, yesterday, love you and God bless you, man. Your work Thank over you. the years has like really, really impacted my life and gave me so many, Aww. so much laughter, man. Now, Thank here's you. a you're welcome. Now, here's a major question, Jay. PlayStation. Or Xbox, PlayStation or Xbox? We need to know what what you going with, bro. Uh, I'm going to have to go with Xbox because that's what my son has been wanting. Oh, word the Xbox! I right, cool. We rocking with Xbox, I, but I don't know. But oh, but you don't know. I right, cool. So no. now my first question is a gaming question. So with Jackass literally being what it is, and then seeing how it's grown so far in terms of the way I capture it, produce it, and shoot it, the slow mo, all that other stuff, which brings it to life. Have y'all ever thought about working with a gaming company and creating Jackass VR? Wow, that would be great. We talked about something to do in the VR world, but we have not taken a step to do that yet. We do have a Jackass mobile game out called Jackass Human Slingshot, uh, which we're really proud of. Nah, that's dope. That's dope. But yeah, I'm telling you, if y'all did like a Jackass VR game on Oculus or something, oh my gosh, like that'd be insane, man. So... Now, another question that I have for you, man, and... Um, well, not, go ahead. one second. We, I have to check because we may have had a VR camera on the set one or two times uh, just in case we wanted to, like, show one of the pranks uh, f with the VR camera. But I have to check. I don't know. I've had a couple concussions since then, so I can't remember. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yo, Yo, y'all do that? Yo, it'll be insane, son. So now, <laughs> my next question, um, and, and this right here is uh, uh, very important to me. Uh, I don't, I never um, seen anyone ask you this question, but what I would love to ask you, man, like throughout your life and throughout your career, what was a moment in your life where you felt like you was at your lowest and things couldn't get any worse, but you managed to find strength in that moment that allowed you to be successful today? Well, there's been a couple of moments when... Uh when I was dead broke and my then girlfriend said that I'm pregnant and I have a little, we have a little girl on the way. Mm -hmm. And I was like, Oh God, what am I going to do? I I'm responsible for a child. Now I have to like do something. And, um, that really, uh, inspired me to like really bust my ass and go to work. I got a commercial agent. I got a, uh, through the help of Antoine Fuqua, who lived next door, he helped me get a commercial agent. My friend John Linson helped me get some writing gigs for magazines. And out of that came me writing participatory journalism articles like the self-defense equipment article, which kind of led to Jackass in a roundabout way because Jeff Tremaine, the director of Jackass, was the editor of a magazine I wrote that article for. So when my back was absolutely against the wall, I had to, you, you got to come out swinging. You know, no, not absolutely. I never knew that. I never knew that that moment was something was a moment that led to what we get to experience today. That's crazy, man. My involvement in it. Yeah, it wow. was like nothing will inspire you like trying to feed a kid. Yeah, no, no. Yo, I'm with you 100 million percent on that, man. So my right. next question I got to ask you is this jackass versus the impractical jokers. Would y'all ever, like, have you ever had a conversation where, you know what, I know what, what y'all do is extra, extra extreme in comparison to what they do. But yeah, have y'all ever had a conversation of what if we came together and did something where we actually united, took our ideas and made the ultimate uh, movie where it's Jackass versus Impractical Jokers and y'all going at each other the whole time? Right. Um, there are a lot of people that do what we do and, and we haven't had a conversation about those guys, but we, you know, we produced a TV show with Nitro Circus. They're part of the family. We produced a TV show with the Dudesons. They're part of the family. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and the Dudesons and some of the Nitro Circus people have been in our films. So, you know, we incorporate people when we, you know, we, we, we figure they're part of the family. Oh God. Well, I would love to see your practical jokers also when you become a part of the family. I think y'all two together would be insane, bro. I think that'd be crazy. <laughs> so now another question that I um, have for you is, uh, 
how did y'all manage to keep the camaraderie so strong over over these years? Because one of the things that you said in your Q and in the Q and A uh, yesterday was that y'all literally been together from the beginning and it just grew that relationship. So how do you keep such a tight knit group and grow like that? Because I can imagine in showbiz and stuff like that and different ideas, you can have a lot of fallouts. So what keep what makes y'all group so special? Well, we're really not in showbiz. We just make jackass films. <laughs> <You know? laughs> okay, okay. I don't think showbiz wants us to be part of showbiz. Um, but you know, we really love each other and it's a family in a, a dysfunctional family but it's a family and we've been through so much on and off the screen when you go through things where you almost die together uh it, it brings you closer and uh you know we've been through so much you know we've had our you know from 51 15 steve O, and you know we've been through some serious life things together and we just keep becoming closer and closer and you feel that in jackass forever even though like I uh, will annihilate the guys in some ways. <laughs> I've never hugged the guys more in this film. Like I'm always annihilating someone and then hugging them. So <laughs> I love them. Yo, so I got so I got two more questions. Then I wrap it up. So for my next question, man, all the damage that you put your body through, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All the stuff that you've done, um, are I know there's more jackass to come. Will you still? play a role in it like to the degree that we even seen you know with jackass forever or are you kind of close to maybe like hanging it up because of what your body is telling you well my neurologist said i can't have any more concussions i've had 16 and the last one took several months to recover from uh so if if we do do another one i'm not sure that we will i'm not sure that we won't but it's possible right we have a younger cast now and uh, but I would do my best to sit behind the camera next to Tremaine and uh, try to uh, lead from there. But Jeff tells me I'm pretty lousy at sitting behind the camera and, and doing that. So uh, I try to stay out of it, though. All right, cool. Because, like, we love you, too. So it's kind of like we want you to be around. Like, you know what I'm saying? Thank so, you. like, like yeah. don't go away. Like, you know what I mean? That's all, <laughs> that's all I'm saying. And, and, Thank you. And for the final, for the final question, man, um, you know, one of the things, so many people inspire, you know, to to carry out their dreams as well and everything. And I know you talked about how your situation was with your back against the wall. My question to you, and this right here is like, as you can see, I'm not sure if you noticed, but I have my esports jersey on. You know, what I'm saying with Furia Esports, this is the team right here yeah. and everything. If you see the, right. I'm trying to, trying to wait, hold on, wait, right here, trying to show you the Furia right here. This is our esports team. All right. Um, would you ever consider having the, the, the Jackass family, um, and bring the brand of Jackass into the gaming world in the form of a team? So the same extreme measures y'all take in y'all movies, y'all take the straight, same extreme <clears throat> measures in competitive gaming and stuff like that. And you actually got a Jackass team playing Call of Duty. You got a Jackass team you know, that plays NBA 2K and really get into that world. And if so, I want y'all to come to Furia. But I'm just saying, I just had to throw it out there, man. What's your thoughts on a jackass gaming division where they come and, and uh, enjoy the gaming world with us? Well, I think it'd be great for what we do because if I got the guys, like, fully focused on gaming and doing this and they're all their senses are going into the gaming. I can do whatever I want to to them. I can <laughs> prank them the hell out of them, right? Because they're not paying attention. Yo, yo, I could, I already see it. I know this could be like a whole new level of entertainment in the gaming space by bringing the jackass energy into gaming through esports and gaming teams. So, yo, bro, that's my time. Yo, Johnny, I love you. It is. I can't believe I'm talking to you. Like, this is crazy, oh, man. man. I thank you so much. Is there anything that you want to say to the fans in terms of why they need to see Jackass forever besides pretty much the same reason why they've seen all the other Jackasses? But what's right. one thing you would say that this is why y'all need to see Jackass forever? Well, first of all, thank you. And thank you for coming last night. I really appreciate it. Um, and yeah, I mean, it. this movie it may be our best it's uh we we didn't get to shoot for 10 years so like all that energy of not getting to shoot not getting to be together on screen yeah. we packed it into one movie we have new blood and 
this may be our best. And, you know, like Steve-O said, you don't want to be on a roller coaster alone. You want to be on a roller coaster with everybody else. So it's really a movie to see in theaters and please do it safely. And uh, yeah, we love everybody. Thank you. Got you. So to, to wrap it up, I, I was hoping together we could say Jackass Forever Furia. If, if you don't mind saying that, Jackass Forever Furia. Are, are you cool with saying Furia? that? Yeah, Furia. Furia? Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. So, so on the count of three. One, two, three. Jackass yes. Forever Furia. Furia. Let's go on your hot 9-7 every day. That's my word. <laughs> Jackass Forever. Go see it there.